हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स ऑफ किड्स प्लैनेट हाई स्कूल दिस लेक्चर इज फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू विंडोज लेट इस नाउ बिगिन स्टूडेंट्स लेट इस नाउ सी व्हाट इज अ कंप्यूटर अ कंप्यूटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मशीन व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ डिवाइसेस इट इज यूज टू राइट draw do sums play games and various other activities it works very fast it does not make mistakes it makes our work very easy a computer is made up of five main devices they are keyboard monitor printer mouse and a cpu each of these devices has a very important function to perform functions of a computer can be classified as input processing and output the input devices are keyboard and mouse a processing unit consists of a cpu and the output devices are monitor and printer the keyboard and the mouse are used to enter data into the computer they are used for input and so they are called input devices cpu means central processing unit the cpu processes the input to give the output and so it is called the central processing unit or a cpu the monitor displays the output produced by the cpu the printer is used to print the output on paper both these devices are used for output and so they are called output devices the cpu controls the entire working of the computer but how does the cpu know what is to be done when how well there are special programs that help the cpu to perform its functions a series of such programs that are used to operate a computer is called an operating system this means that an operating system controls the processes that store and receive data from the memory of the computer in short an operating system organizes and controls a computer most operating system run on microsoft windows popularly known as windows windows is a user friendly operating system with graphical interface the term graphical interface means you do not have to remember the commands to use the computer if you want to perform a task you can use the mouse to just click on tools or commands or its relevant picture on the screen now what makes the windows operating system so popular let's see some of its striking features in windows each program opens in a separate window on the screen hence the name windows you can work in several programs at the same time you need not remember different commands to work in windows you can just click on a tool or command on the window frequently used tools or commands appear on icon buttons on the windows when you switch on the computer windows starts automatically you will see the main screen of windows it is called desktop The small pictures that you see on the desktop are called icons. Each icon represents a program in Windows. However, depending on how you how your computer is set up, the icons on the desktop might be different from those in the illustration. The bar at the bottom of the desktop is called task bar. To the right of the task bar, you can see the time and date. to the left of the task bar you can see the start button 
If you click on the start button, you will see the start menu. The task bar, as you know, is the long bar at the bottom of the screen. It has three main sections. The start button, the middle section and the notification area. When you click on the start button, you will see the start menu. Now the middle section. It shows all the programs, folders and files you have opened. Whenever you open a program, folder or file, Windows shows its icon button on the taskbar. In this picture, five programs are open and each has its own icon button on the taskbar. The icon button on the active window is highlighted. To open another window, click on its icon button on the taskbar. When you click on the minimize button on the title bar of the window, it disappears from the desktop and you can see its icon button on the taskbar. To see the window again, just click on its icon button on the taskbar. When you move your mouse pointer to a taskbar button, you can see a smaller version of that window. And now the last one, the notification area. It includes a clock and date. There are some icons also. For example, it shows the volume and battery level. When you place the mouse pointer over an icon, a screen tip will show you the name and status of the icon. Now, let us study about the start menu. The start menu is used to start programs, open often used folders, search for files, folders and programs, adjust computer settings, get help with windows or to turn off the computer.